Hey you guys, this is Everything Tech and in this video I will tell you exactly how to get Windows Millennium online. So after installing Windows Millennium you have this nice Internet Explorer button over here and if you double click it, it says like welcome to MSN Internet Access and it says we will need to install a modem before continuing. In other words you will get nowhere with this because I don't have a modem in this system. So why even bothering? So, and if I go to the, the settings in my network places, uh, I will get nowhere either. So, but there's a simple solution to this problem. It's like, what you need is Firefox 2.0. So I just put in the uh, USB key. You can download it, uh, by the way, in the link I described in my uh, description below. Uh, you go to your computer and to your movable disk. You set up Firefox 2.0. Now, at first, Firefox will, you know, um, you know, blab a bit about uh, it cannot connect to the sites it wants to begin at. That has to do with some, you know. With some, with the nature of Firefox, of, of its start pages, etc. But let's continue. Okay, now let's launch it. Okay, it tries now to connect to start Mozilla.org, but it cannot connect securely to start because the site uses a security protocol which isn't enabled. Okay, fine with that. But if we go to, for example, Google... Uh, and Google.com. Here you are, online, on Google.com. And you can even verify that if you go to the prompt, and you type in IP... IP con con oh, crappy confish and here you have it you see the computer just got an internal IP number from my modem from and it's done you know it's just it's just working without doing any settings uh, at all now I don't know how many sites are still supported by this um, let's say I don't know if for example facebook.com works Okay, I accept. Uh, no, not alert me. Okay. And this is just a guess for me at this moment. Will it work? <laughs> oh, sort of. <laughs> but don't forget, guys, uh, Windows Millennium is a very old uh, system. It's nearly 20 years old. Update reminder. <laughs> I know. Um, Waiting to connect for, but anyway, um, with uh, Firefox version 2.0, you still can go onto the internet and also Windows Millennium accept um, Firefox 2.0. It even um, is accepted on Windows 98. I even tried that. And well, let's see what is a more also a famous site. Uh, let's see, www dot um i don't know uh what is what is what is a, a very famous oh you youtube uh no youtube i doubt it because youtube uses all kind of things let's try it anyway yeah accepted oops your browser is no longer supported <laughs> but you know that is that's not the point the point is why yeah, 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 yeah. The point is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go away, go away. The point is, um, okay. The point is, if you try to do through the very old Internet Explorer, it will simply not work. You install Firefox, it will automatically detect the uh, already assigned uh, internal IP numbers, and you're done. So, um, is it useful? I, I don't know. Maybe you know to download for something. Maybe, perhaps, but Windows Millennium, if you have a computer like that, then 
for me it's like I just installed it uh, yesterday maybe you've seen my video you know my goofing around when I even said that I still have to figure out how to get online but it it will probably mostly a old dust game machine or games that run on Windows Millennium and so on but this little trip will uh, a little uh, trick will help you uh, to get online uh, on internet. So uh, thank you for watching and until next time and the link is stated below. Okay? If the link is broken because sometimes my ISP will change the number, then please send me a message then I can change the number because I have a NAS here at home 24 hours 7 days a week running so the files should be always available. Yes. Okay guys, thank you. Bye bye.